Hey guys, how's it going? Good morning. Hope you're all doing well. Happy Friday! I'm excited for today. Today should be fun. We're almost done with the um, cleanup animation. Just got a few more things left to do. Specifically the boobs. Um, then I have a couple other frames uh, in the beginning I still need to clean up, but it's going well. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, how's it going, sandwich spread? Sa sa sandwich spread. How's it going? Gums, um, DJC Animation, Michi Banana, thank you for the host, uh, Redhead, Shay Max Wolf, good to see you again, Beep2312, it's bull, bull, how's it going guys, hope you're all doing well, thank you for tuning in, um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's get started, hey, Shay Max Wolf, thank you for the host, I really appreciate it, thank you, thank you, um, so we are streaming stuff I cannot stream on Twitch. It is a very illegal. <laughs> if you want to see illegal content. Um, we are streaming it on my Discord instead. Let me adjust my microphone. Let me know if that sounds okay. Um, <laughs> it's very business casual here. But yeah, I did a, um, I did a thing. Look, now my, now my screen moves. You can kind of, you can kind of see what I'm working on. Oh, but you can't see it really. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, feel free to hang out. Um, lurk, do whatever. Tell your friends. Tell your grandma. Um, let's see. So drawing these eyelashes. There's one, two, one, two, three eyelashes. Beep, beep, boop, 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 boop. Also listening to Undertale again, because I like this soundtrack a lot. Don't judge. Don't judge me. Look at this lewd blur. Isn't it? Isn't it the lewdest blur you've ever seen? <laughs> but yeah, how are you guys doing? Anybody got any plans this weekend? Gonna make any interesting foods or anything? Uh, let's see. So eyelash there. What? It's too early, DJC. Thank you. Jesse, thanks for the follow on my Twitch channel. Oh, yeah, of course, dude. I'm excited to see what you um what you do with it. It's been really cool hearing um your process, even though it's been tough. It reminds me of when I was first starting streaming. Yeah, if you ever need any help or have any questions, feel free to let me know. I never cook food because I never eat food. That's a good um, solution, Gums. I actually really like that suggestion a lot. That seems way simpler than what I'm trying to do. Uh, Mitchy, I'm planning on making a batch of dumplings on Sunday. That sounds awesome. What kind of dumplings? Dumplings is like one of those things where it could be almost anything. That sounds awesome though. Did my animation meetup last night? That was a lot of fun. It's always fun seeing those people. It's like a local Portland group. We used to meet up in person, but we've been doing um, Discord and Zoom meetups for obvious reasons. Um, I think everyone's kind of missing the in-person meetups, though. It's not the same. So, one, two, three eyelashes. I like it just because... And I think other people like it, too, just because you don't have to leave the house. Um, you don't have to, like, dress nice or put on pants. <laughs> They were like, when we meet in person, don't forget to put on pants. And I was just like, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Pork pot stickers. That sounds... That sounds yummy-licious. That sounds so good. Um... You're doing karaoke. Be safe. 
Oh, I love Illustrator. I think I feel like I'm the only person in the world that likes Illustrator. <laughs> Most people hate it. Illustrator's so fun. Let's see, so... One... Two... Three eyelashes... And one going down here like that. Yeah, I think this um this blur effect will be very useful because um when I'm working on my own personal project, there's definitely going to be like some not safe for work stuff I need to work on. So um it'll be fun to be able to stream it and still kind of show that I'm actually doing work on stuff. <laughs> it's a little bit better than like just the still image I feel. You know, we're very anti-Adobe here, is the only thing. That's why I would recommend learning Inkscape. If you're doing it just for fun, if you're planning on getting a job, though, with Illustrator, definitely learn Illustrator, because that's the industry standard. But if you're doing it just for personal projects, I would recommend Inkscape. But yeah, really don't like supporting um, Adobe. They are not a great company for artists. They really don't care about artists. They love money, though. It's gotta be said, they do love money. Um, Inkscape, Inkscape is very different um, from Illustrator. So I'm not as familiar with it. I have... what do I have? What do I have in use? I have Affinity Designer. That's the one that I use. Um, it's pretty similar to Illustrator. I like that. I hate Adobe. I, I fucking hate Adobe. <laughs> you love money too, Michi? <laughs> wow. What a small world this is. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, it's just like, there's no reason to support Adobe anymore. They used to be the only... Um, the only software out there. But now there's so many alternatives, there's no reason to go with them. Especially because... You know, their updates for their software... Aren't very good updates, and they usually break the program. They'll never fix Flash. They don't, they don't care about animators, or... You know, all the people in studios that use Animate and hate it. Like, they'll never fix Flash. They don't care. The CSP similar to Illustrator? Nope, they're completely different. Drawing in Illustrator is like drawing with a math program. Because <laughs> you're using, like, um, the pen tool and you're drawing with curves and lines rather than with, like, a brush. You can draw with a brush. In Illustrator, but typically Illustrator is used for like um, the pen tool and stuff. <laughs> Money's awesome. I could buy dim sum. <laughs> Man, can you imagine how much dim sum you could buy with how much money Adobe has? That'd be so much dim sum. I can't even imagine how much dim sum that would be. Affinity apps are still 50% off. That's cool. Yeah, I love Affinity's programs. I've been really enjoying them a lot. If you like Adobe stuff, Jeff, definitely check out Affinity. They're really good alternatives. There's definitely, like, stuff in Photoshop that is not there that I do miss, but I'm willing to live without it. So it's definitely, like, not one-to-one, -one, but it's close enough. I'm willing to, you know, use it instead. 
It's like, um... That, also with Krita. It's like, that's all the Photoshop you really need. But yeah, no, Illustrator's a lot of fun. Um, Affinity Designer is really similar to it, too. There's actually some ways I like Affinity's version better than Adobe Illustrator. It seems a lot more straightforward. With simple things like cutting shapes out and stuff like that. With Adobe, it's kind of convoluted. It's a little bit funky. It's sort of weird. Um, let's see, for her eyes... It's just a circle within a circle, looks like. Something like that. <clears throat> okay, then let's do her other eye. Do 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 Yeah, also at a, our animation meetup, we also do like an after dark uh, meetup after the meetup's over. Just me and like a couple friends that are working on more not safe for work stuff. It's really fun. give each other, like, advice and, like, talk shop about things. It's really fun. Um, let's see. For these eyelashes... Um... Maybe bring this part up a bit more. You know, this is technically a trace back. I probably shouldn't be working too hard on this first frame. Yeah, let's um let's do this actually. I changed my mind. Let's just indicate that this is a trace back. Delete this drawing. Go to... where's your body? There's her leg, there's her hair. Um, I guess we could do it on her eye layer. And just draw the outline here. And we'll... So typically with um, animation, a traceback is when a frame is similar or close to another frame with maybe like a few alternatives. In this case, um, this frame is going to be a copy from another scene that another animator is going to be cleaning up. So this frame will actually come from a different scene, so what I'm doing is I'm just outlining the drawing and then I'm going to put the words TB in it, which stands for traceback. Just to indicate that that's where that frame goes and it's coming from a different scene. So, traceback. And hopefully Derpy um, knows what to do with that, or knows what that means. I'll be sure to let them know. If they need me to draw this frame, I definitely could, but I want to avoid doing work if we don't have to, you know? Especially if it's going to get overwritten with um, a different drawing. It would be kind of silly and pointless. Okay, trace back. So there's that frame. <laughs> you want the focus code? 
<laughs> let's see, let's add a keyframe here. <laughs> yeah, the three wolf shirt definitely helps me animate. It makes me such a better animator wearing the three wolf shirt. <laughs> Keyframe here. Expand dong. Like that. Wolves are your favorite animal? I like tigers. I think tiger is my favorite animal. Uh, Lee Colleen, thank you for the host. Thank you for hosting my butts. I appreciate it. How's it going, Lee? Uh, Ruisu Nakara, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. Let's see. So, those two frames are tracebacks. And this is a new frame. That nose is interesting. What did it look like on here? Just like a triangle? Um. I wonder if I have to draw this pooch. <laughs> Thank you, Mitch. Who do you look look up to as an animator? Top five. Um, probably Chuck Jones is my number one. I love Chuck Jones. I started liking Chuck Jones honestly because we have the same last name. But um, his appeal and his drawings are really great. I love Chuck Jones drawings. Um, Glenn Keane, of course. Just for like the energy in his um in his drawings. Everyone loves Glenn Keane though. Andres Deja. Um Melt Call. These are people that everyone loves though. I'm trying to think of like more obscure animators. Tex Avery's great. I like Tex Avery animation a lot. Hello, Lee. Shake that Djibouti booty. And Pooey, hi, hello. That's a cute lurky moat. <laughs> yeah, Chuck Jones did the Grinch. He also redesigned the Looney Tunes. Um, and the Daffy Duck that's, that we know today is pretty much Chuck Jones's Daffy Duck. Um, what else did Chuck Jones do? He did the um, What's Opera Duck. Which I think won an Oscar. Um, yeah, he's very prolific. Um, but if you ever look up like Chuck Jones figure drawing, his figure drawings are really nice. He also he also made my favorite cartoon, The Dover Boys. Don Bluth, that's a great one. As, like, cheesy and hammy as Don Bluth is, I like his drawings a lot. I would not say he's a great, like... Content creator? If I want to put it in a shitty way. Um... A lot of his stuff is kind of lame, to be honest. But I really like his, uh, his drawings a lot. Aaron Blaze is great. Yeah, his um his YouTube channel is awesome. <laughs> a little bit, Lee. <laughs> Name one lame thing. How about um the fucking what's that donkey movie called? What's that fucking Christmas donkey movie? Christmas donkey animated. <laughs> what was it called? The s not the star. That's not it. <laughs> Nestor the Long-Eared Christmas Donkey? Was that it? That's not it. <laughs> All Christmas films are shit though. Yeah, maybe he's a perfect fit for her. Christmas films then. <laughs> he 
he did all dogs go to heaven. He has a pass forever. Yeah. Yeah, not all of his stuff is lame. It's just like he's done some lame things, like troll in Central Park and um stuff like that. But he's done some masterpieces too, for sure. And I really like um the animation in um fucking what's it called? The video game. Dragon Slayer? Yeah, that one's great. <laughs> I love Dragon Slayer. Um, Rockadoodle is kind of a lame movie, but I really like it. Probably mostly for nostalgia's sake, but I like that movie a lot too. But nah, All Dogs Go to Heaven is amazing. <laughs> American Tale. Have you seen the sequel? I like the sequel a lot. It's not a great movie, but I watched it a lot as a kid and really liked it. I haven't seen the original American Tale in so long. I remember it kind of scaring me as a kid. <laughs> like the part where the giant mechanical mouse comes out of the... Um, out of the building. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, the sequel's really fun. It's very silly. Uh, Secret of Nim changed a lot from the book in kind of a weird way. It like brought in all these magic elements and stuff for no reason. But I still like that movie. It's still one of my favorite movies, actually. Even though it's fucking weird. <laughs> Don Blue's done a lot of shit, huh? Um, who else? I like Ken Harris a lot. Ken Harris's animations are always really fun. He's the guy that animated <laughs> a roundabout. I'll steal it. No one will ever know. <laughs> it's super like classic Disney for sure. Like if Chuck Jones is Looney Tunes, Don Bluth is definitely Disney. Non-American animators? Um... I was holding off on saying their name because I don't remember what their last name is, but Yo from Studio Trigger? I forget what their last name is. Yo Yoshinari? Yo Yoshinari is amazing. Like, to an incredible level. <laughs> They're incredible. Um, I can type out their name in chat if you want to look them up. They're, um, one of the animators for Studio Trigger. Look up Yoshinari-san. <laughs> Look up Yoshinari Desu. <laughs> so des. Very so des. came to your college and he brought American Tale before it was out in theaters and we cut it to pieces and his responses were always time and money. <laughs> That's amazing. That's an incredible story. There was um... I don't know the details enough to really tell this story but um... Brad Bird was kind of talking about how Don Bluth sort of sterilized a lot of creative ideas. For which movie, I'm not sure. I think it was that Christmas Donkey movie, actually. They were showing, like, some concept art from it, and it looked amazing, but then, um, Don Bluth came in and kind of took over the directing role, and, um, 
Just made the designs look like his drawings, basically. Like, just classic Disney style. When, um, Brad Bird and everyone else was trying to make it look a bit more unique and interesting. So I don't know the details enough to really tell that story for sure, but I remember Brad Bird talking about Don Bluth in that way. That he's kind of, um, very traditionalist, you know? Not that traditionalism is a bad thing, it just means, you know, not experimenting or trying different things. I'm definitely a traditionalist. I like doing the same thing over and over again. But you get more interesting stuff when you experiment, you know? I love David Firth. David Firth's amazing. Do you see he has a Salad Fingers plush uh, for sale? Thinking about getting one. Salad Fingers was huge to me growing up. <laughs> Lead, those are fighting words. Those are fighting words. Oh! We are talking about making comics. I might reach out to you for some help and advice. Um, one of our animator friends is having trouble completing stuff. And he's like... I love working with him. Um, Chris Purden, he's amazing. Really good illustrator. But he was talking about doing a collab with the animators meetup where we all do like three pages of a comic. Um, the theme is about monsters and it's going to get put together around like Halloween. I know comics are like an inferior medium to animation, but I thought it could be fun to try. And I thought I thought you might have some good ideas or thoughts, Lee, since you draw the best monster comics out there. Um Wow. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Boy, I like it when my animation like doesn't move and it's and it's like a slideshow that I have to move manually. I, I really like that. <laughs> okay, so... We've got three eyelashes on this side. One... To who? Three. <laughs> Boy, I can't express something in one shot, so I'll do it in a hundred slightly different images. <laughs> I love our stupid comic creator versus animator creator characters. They're fucking great and stupid. <laughs> Boy, telling stories is hard. I should try drawing it over and over again. Making sure that they all look the same as well. <laughs> Let's see, and then... This eyelash goes up here. This music's scary, I don't like it. Mmm, that looks okay. Maybe bring the eyelid down a little bit like that. Tam Tam! Tammy's a really good animator. Very appealing. Her VTuber's also really cute. It matches with her voice very well. What is this song? This is Tem Village. Tem need money for Kaleg. <laughs> you know. Tem. You know. Lee. Lee from Undertale. Tem. Sans. <laughs> Undertale's great. 
It's short enough, I feel like everyone should play it at least once. It's also like... It's my kind of humor. It's very dorky. And, um, I don't know. It's lame in its own way, but I really like it. I like the characters in it a lot. The music's great. I feel. I like the soundtrack a lot. Let's see. These eyes like this. We're also missing one eyelash. She needs her one eyelash on these eyes. I love video game. Boy, I sure do love playing Undertale on my favorite console, the PC. It's my favorite video game. Um, let's paste this. Boy, I sure do love playing video game. Um, let's flip this horizontal like so. Move it here. Hmm, maybe it needs to be a bit bigger. <laughs> That looks okay. <laughs> One of my favorite sports team, the Denver Broncos. Boy, I sure do love watching football sports with my favorite friends. <laughs> Denver Broncos. <laughs> I sure do like when sports happen. Uh, Plushy, hi, hello. How's your day going? Hope you're having a good one so far. I just noticed I'm working on this frame, but I think I'd rather work on Boba. <laughs> we still need to clean up these frames, but um... It's more fun drawing Bulba, so maybe we'll do that instead. What's your favorite nice drink to have? Let's see. And then eyebrows go up here. It really is Friday, isn't it? <laughs> What's your nice drink? Uh, I was just saying boba, and I was like, I really like boba a lot. <laughs> I like, I like boba tea a lot. That's probably my favorite nice drink. I love having nice drink with friend. Um, I think this part needs to go up a little bit. Like that. That looks a little better. <laughs> What's your favorite naughty drink? Sometimes... I lock myself in my room and I have a sip of cocoa and I feel <gasps> naughty. <laughs> yeah, bubble tea is probably my favorite nice drink. <laughs> nice plushie. Dude, heck yeah. That's metal as fuck. That's awesome. You got so much metal, it's in your bloodstream. 
That kicks ass. I don't understand. Can you... I'm really curious. How does anyone not like boba tea? Like, is it something you can't explain? Is there anything specific about it? I'm just curious. I know my one friend who doesn't like it, he choked on it one time, <laughs> which is understandable. The taste? It's nice. That's understandable. That's like all the explanation you need, really. Boba tea's fun. Uh, sandwich, if you ever get a chance to try it. Yeah, just get regular um, milk tea. Just get the regular flavor with the tapioca uh, boba. Oh, you're replacing all your blood with metal. I see. That's cool, Plushy. That seems awesome. Like, in case you get into a scrap with, um... Like, a super evil villain. Having metal blood would make you... Fucking kick ass. That'd be awesome. <laughs> the balls of Coom at the bottom are so horrendous it makes me want to vomit. <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> Oh, you're one of those 0% sweet? 0% sugar people? I like a good 50% sweet. I think 50% is pretty good. That's <laughs> so funny. Is bubble tea ruined for me now? Maybe. We'll have to see next time I try. <laughs> Uh, let's move on. Let's do... Let's animate some boba. So, where's... Where's her boob layer go? Above her belly, right? I think that'd be the place to put it. Let's see, does her hair go in front of it? Ever? Not really, but that's okay. Definitely goes above the shoulders. Okay, shoulders are down there. So, new layer... Dancer, underscore, bobs, right there, let's do the first keyframe here, actually where's a good keyframe to start, probably this one? This is probably the part we're going to spend the most time on. We want to make sure that our first keyframe looks appealing, looks good. It's really hard drawing, um, genitals. Genitals are such an ugly body part. <laughs> it's really hard to make them look appealing. It's something I'm trying to practice on. Thirty percent sweetness. That seems pretty good. <laughs> so specific. Let's see. Let's do this in black first, and just kind of sketch it out. Do 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 do. Maybe use the clean up thin brush on this part. Can never have bubble tea. I really want to try natto. Have you tried it? I like weird things though. 
I might even enjoy it, who knows. It looks like bugs. <laughs> it looks like fucking bugs. Isn't there one that actually is bugs? Is that called something else? Nato's just beans, right? I know a lot of people eat it for like, just a snack. It's like their go-to snack. Bub. Big ol' bazongies. <laughs> Glad to hear a sandwich. <laughs> Let's see. So the underside, we want to have a bit thicker of a line weight here. Since that's gonna be in shadow, like so. Oh, I see plushy. Yeah, you know, you're not missing out on too much. I don't know if there's a non-caffeine bubble tea. Maybe. But you're not missing out on too much either. They sell larvae in cans, I think. Yeah, the Natto's soybeans. I thought there was a... Um... Miso's so nice! Oh my gosh! <laughs> I love miso. <laughs> Dude, miso on salmon? That's so good. Or miso in like a burger mix? Makes it amazing. It's like you get that umami, that salty flavor. Nom 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 nom. I do not have a P.O. box. Do 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 Hmm. See the top part of this line maybe goes down like that. More straight. Sorry, I'm concentrating on Boba. How's that look? Mirrored? Maybe erase a little bit of this line here. This keyframe is important because we're going to use it to reference the rest of the animation. So we want to make sure that it's looking as good as possible. So we're going to use it to reference both the model as well as the line weight for each one of the lines. How's the blur holding up, by the way? I'm pretty sure you guys can't tell what I'm drawing. But let me know if it shows a little bit. I would appreciate it. I'm trying to be safe here. Um, let's recolor this blue. Let's try this line again. I think my stream's 
um, small enough that it wouldn't matter too much, even if you could see. But, um, trying to be, um, playing by the rules as well. Wait, is Gage here? I see a lot of Gage in chat. Awesome, thank you, Kevin. Also, hi, hello. Ding dong, it is Friday. Hello. So, if I draw a big old weenie on stream, just like this. <laughs> Alright, it's working good. I don't see it. <laughs> That's awesome. Dude, it was such a pain in the butt to get this blur effect. <laughs> I'm glad it's working. Look, I'm actually working on stuff. You can tell I'm working on a thing. <laughs> Back on Australian workday, so it's a day off. That's cool. You get a future weekend. Oh yeah, stay tuned to the end of the stream to get the focus code. It's gonna be a secret message, um, delivered by Super Mario. So make sure to pay attention, kids. Oh yeah, fuck, that's true. Future work day, too. Yeah, that's stinky. Hope you enjoy your day off, though. Alright kids, the secret code is, don't do drugs. Because if you do drugs, you go to hell before you die. Your friend Mario. <laughs> your friend Mario is telling you, you're gonna go to hell. And it's all your fault. <laughs> Brought to you by Super Mario. <laughs> Swing your arms from side to side, then go to hell, it's Super Mario. <laughs> what am I fucking, what am I doing? Okay, um... Let's get this part here. Hi, Billy, Mays here. <laughs> Billy Mays here with another fantastic product. <laughs> uh, no, I think it has spaces between a DJC. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in this part goes like so. Do 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 do. Hmm. Maybe thin this out a little bit. You know, my Wacom tablet's been acting kind of weird lately. It, like, shut off for no reason yesterday. Um, I hope it's doing okay. It's, like, flashing a little bit, and it's kind of bugging my eyes. I don't... I don't know if I'd buy another one. I know they, like, have a new model for them. But I don't know if I'd gamble with another piece of Wacom hardware. They make good tablets, but I don't know about computers. I don't know if they've quite figured out their computer stuff yet. I have had it for a while, though. It's, it's been great. I like how portable it is. The graphics card on it really sucks. That's probably the worst part, is the graphics card. It makes it very limited what you can do with it. Swing your arms from side to side. Um, I think this line probably needs squished down a little bit. 
put it a bit more in perspective. Get this one. Um, Lee, if you're still here, we should go to Japan sometime. We should start saving up now, and then maybe when coronavirus is over, we can go to Japan. Let's fucking do it. Dude, you doing anything this weekend? Let's fucking go. Just wanna get out of here. I want to go somewhere. I want to travel. Oh, you're using a Huion. That's cool. <laughs> Just a little day trip. Dude, famous Gage Agnew. From Almost Adults. Hmm. <laughs> I was kind of curious, um, like, when we go back, what's your one place that you need to go back to? What's your one place that you need to visit again? We'll make sure to stop there. Cat Cafe? Is it the cat cafe? I bet it's the cat cafe. And those pictures you were sharing of Japan look so cool. I don't take a lot of pictures. I should get into that habit more. <laughs> Handstand at the top of Mount Fuji. Is that um? <laughs> Is that a JoJo reference? Koko Ichibanya. Let me do a quick duck duck go of this. Not Google. Uh, your children are an important part of our Koko Ichibanya family, and we want to let them know that. If. If you're visiting our Torrance location, please be sure to ask your server to help your children, 12 years or younger, to join our Coco Ichi Kids Club. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright. Uh, oh, it's a curry house. Oh my gosh, that looks really good. That looks awesome. Dude, I think that's how you start doing, um, key blasts. You gotta start with the handstand on top of Mount Fuji. And then you can focus your key. Hey, yo, Fwilder, how's it going, bud? Hey, oh, I'm drawing boobs over here. Hey, oh, how's it going? Favorite Disney movie? Mmm. It used to be Robin Hood. And then I watched it recently. Didn't like it as much as I used to, I think. Um, I probably shouldn't watch old Disney movies. They don't hold up as well. It's like, I think it's because watching them in high def on Disney Plus, it like, it takes away that old like VHS kind of grain to it. And you just see everything so clearly. I don't know. All the reused animation really got to me. I was like, oh my gosh. They use the same animation over and over in that movie. They sure love their one walk cycle that they do for every character. And then they like do the same scenes for characters over and over. It just feels very pieced together, that movie. The character designs are cute, and the story's cute. Um... I'd probably say Robin Hood's probably my favorite movie. I like Robin Hood, I like Sword in the Stone, I like um... Sleeping Beauty. Those are probably my favorite ones. 
<laughs> they gotta save time. <laughs> we're Disney, we're running out of money, what do we do? <laughs> Let's take our animation we already have and repurpose it again. <laughs> hey, Reese boy, how's it going? Hello. Me too, you like Mulan or Tangled? I haven't seen Tangled in a long time. I want to watch that one again. I remember really liking it. It's got hair. It's got lady with hair. What more could you ask for? Um. Dude, nice. Chillin's the way to go. Somebody asks me what I want to do all the time. I'm just saying chillin'. Straight up chillin'. Brave looked really nice. I kind of don't remember what happened in it. <laughs> Hercules has Danny DeVito, so that's automatically a top 10 for me. Should give Hercules another watch. Ah, oh, the cake scene is so good in Sleeping Beauty. That's a really good scene. I hear a lot of people say Sleeping Beauty is boring, and I don't disagree. But I really like the way that movie looks. I really like the colors and the backgrounds a lot. Like a lot of grays and like desaturated greens. So the characters that have um like red, green, and blue really pop out and stand out. Uh, let's see. Let's thin this line out a bit. Bring it out here a bit more. I feel like even though the boba we're only going to animate once and then it cycles, I feel like we're probably going to spend most of the time on this layer. Because it's the most important one, you know? It's like, it's like the Alfredo sauce. It's going to bring everything together. Uh, if you stay tuned to the end of the stream, you get the focus code from your friend Super Mario. <laughs> Actually... Um, so, I'm streaming it on my Discord, but you need to be a supporter either, either on um, Twitch by being a sub or on my Patreon. Patreon's definitely the cheaper option at $1. That's what I would recommend. Or, you know, you can just hang out. Welcome to my podcast. <laughs> if you cross your eyes real, real hard... <laughs> Who the hell is Samson? Let's see. Um Let's see. He has a name? That's cool. He is a really good horse, you know? You're actually right. I like his expressions a lot. <laughs> Who the hell is Samson? <laughs> Sleeping Beauty is probably my favorite movie. Who the hell is that character? <laughs> Wouldn't have known if we didn't reference the shit out of him for Mr. Crystal. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, his face proportions are really great. He's got that long skinny snout.
Straight up chillin' dog. Um, let's see. Let's thin this line out a little bit. It's supposed to be like a secondary line. Like that. Maybe bring it in a little bit. How's that look? That's looking pretty good. I think I'm happy with that. Maybe put a little bit of line weight on here. Uh, Reese Boy, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. Hell yeah, cancel that Adobe sub. Shit sucks. There's so much better stuff out there. You're gonna save so much money, it's gonna be incredible. Put that money towards something good. Like buying buying um a Ferrari or something. It'll be amazing. It'll be great. Get yourself a Billy Mays body pillow. Um, let's see. Hi, Billy Mays here. Hmm. What? I love you. I got you, like and BTW just called you. me Rice Smile. <laughs> Alright, Rice, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thanks for the bits. Appreciate it. Let's see. Let's get these lines in here. Look at it! Look at it! I'm having sex with three women, <laughs> and you know what? The one in the middle is half and half. <laughs> the one in the middle is like coffee. It's like my coffee creamer. It's half and half. <laughs> Hey, Doom Rollout. How's it going? I'm not sure what that is. Uh, let's see. Man, Triple J Bot loves that quote. He doesn't like that quote. He loves it! can if you want to, Doom. Let's see. I'm gonna grab this blue here, delete that. I think that looks pretty good. Let's see. Let's erase that shoulder here. <laughs> That's a thick ass boy. <laughs> Since you highlighted and requested it, I got you. I got you, fam. Damn, boy, he's thick, <laughs> boy. That's a thick ass boy. Damn. Ba -ba! <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think I'm pretty happy with that boba drawing. That looks pretty good. So let's mark that as a keyframe. And then 
this is another extreme, so let's do this one. So we can add these drawings to desk, like so. Open the door, get on the floor, everybody walk the dinosaur. Things. You know what I do whenever I feel that way, Rice Boy? I just I just clap my hands three times. And then, and then, and then, nothing changes. That's how, that's how I handle a situation like that. <laughs> let's see, let's... Do that. Is that... Too, that might be too thick. Yeah, that's too thick. Let's keep it. Let's keep it soft, boys. Let's be. Let's be soft, boys, about it. Make some soft lines. Make some soft lines out of it. <laughs> I can count. I know how to count. That's Whirl. Whirl's the one that jams meat into things. <laughs> oh, it's not that version. It's a different song. So, let's see. Damn boy, he's thick. Did you rice boy? Thank you. Thank you so much. If um sometimes the the thing takes a minute to update. If you want to check out the stream and you're over 18, um, you can hang out in the regular voice chat and I can move you into the supporter voice chat if it's not working. Let's see. And then this line goes here. Oops, accidentally selecting all by color. Cool, that sounds good. Thanks again, Rice Boy. Let's see, that line goes down there. Um, for this part, I think we'll do like an overlapping line. Here and then here. Maybe push this out a little bit. I want to post on TikTok more. 
Do you guys have any ideas for stuff that would be cool to post on TikTok that doesn't require a ton of work or time? Um, I would just move them into the, um, into the supporter room. That's what I would do. The bot should take care of the, adding the rolls. Let's see. Soft shapes. You can get nice and soft shapes. Boba should connect right here. <laughs> Thank you, mods. Um, favorite Zelda? <coughs> Ocarina of Time, easily. What? Hey, Jesse, do you have a PO box? No, I do not. Don't send me things. I have everything I need. Thank you, though. Um... Let's see. Let's color that blue. <laughs> there was an easier way to ask that question, DJC. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you guys. <laughs> the best song! I love this song. Let's see. Spin out this taper. Oh, this must be the remixes. I guess that's okay. We'll see if the stream gets muted or not. I don't know if these remixes are allowed. <laughs> yeah, I'm also a cartoon. Like, what could I possibly use? I'm not tangible. What can I possibly hold on to? Um, let's see. Let's do this. Clean that up. Yeah, also, like, I don't think I'd be comfortable going to the post office right now. At least, not more than I have to. Let's see. Let's bring this line in like that. I have a ton of Hasubando pillows. Uh, Mushroom Madam made a bunch of them for me. She made me one of Trivago, one of Link. Um... Did she make me one for World Guy? Maybe. <laughs> Hasubando? <laughs> it's just a Japanese word for husband pillow <laughs> instead of waifu pillow. Some people, it's all about the waifus, but you gotta give the Hasubando some love. line down here. 
Hi, it's Tim. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely the remix playlist. I like it though. I like these remixes a lot. It's a good mix. Yeah, of course, it's the full denim world. <laughs> the best world. Why, Lee, what's wrong? Uwu is just a face. So there's Uwu, there's Owo. Uh, let's see. I think that looks pretty okay. Maybe... Add some line weight shadow here. Since they're resting on her body here. I think that looks okay. I'm liking how these boba are turning out. <laughs> Dude, there's ways to get away with murder, Lee. Just watch um, a bunch of murder shows and see what not to do. It's simple. It's so simple. Oh, that's fun. A bar open? That's fun. That sounds like a great time had by all. And all who enjoy it. So annoying. <laughs> Lee already broke the first rule by announcing it. That's true, actually. What are you doing? <laughs> he's got he's got an alibi. He can say he was in here talking about murder, that way he's not suspicious. Yeah, that sucks. That sounds super annoying. Dude, quiet fun is the best fun. I love quiet fun. I love having a good time, but then making sure to be very quiet about it. <laughs> and respectful. What? When Jesse goes live. <laughs> I try to live. I try to live every day. Thank you, sandwich. <laughs> Let's see. Let's thicken up this line on this side a little bit. That looks good. It's a pretty good boba frame. I'm gonna fuss with this part a little bit. Let's fuss. Let's do a little fuss. And 
break up that line a little bit. There, I like that better. Cool, let's save, make sure to save. <laughs> Just buy a liquor store. I'm so excited for breakfast, you guys. I can't wait to eat my breakfast. Shit, it's already 8 o'clock. Maybe I'll go for another 30 minutes? Taco Bell or Jimmy John's? I'd love to own a Popeyes. That's probably the store I would want to buy and just eat all the food there and not actually make a profit. That's probably what I would do. <laughs> I can never spell the word restaurant. I never know how to spell that word. Rester ant? See, that's a breakdown. Let's not do that one. This is probably the next keyframe, this one. It's the same as this frame, so let's blank that out. Oh, hold on. Wait a tick. Hair back. So that's the same frame as that one. Let's mark that as a keyframe. Uh, the shoulder should be the same on this frame. Which one's our best shoulder drawing? Probably this one. Yeah, I think this one. So let's copy that. Paste that there. Make sure that still flows okay. Seems alright. And then on that frame it's changing quite a bit, so we can keep that separate. It seems fine. <laughs> Wet nest day is a stupid word. <laughs> it's not your fault. That word's spelled stupid. Buy a grocery store? That's a good idea, Mitchy. Buy a grocery store, eat all the food, never make a profit. That's a good idea. Feb February. As long as you pronounce it wrong, then you can spell it right. <laughs> Hello, Viv. How's it going? Thanks for joining the stream. How's your gesture drawing going? It's been really fun seeing your posts. It's nice doing them with people. Feb Rua Re is how I learned it. You know, beautiful is one that I always had trouble spelling until I pronounced it like B. How is it? Like B A U T. Phil, guys, can we get some fills in chat? We don't have your <laughs> your theme song anymore, but sometimes you wanna go where there's a fill inside your chat. Phil. <laughs> hey, Phil. How's it going? Hope your day's going well. Or drawing a boob. Just one. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome for the non-copyright song. Why can I not draw on this? Why is this not working? What's going on? Help? Oh, wait. I know why. 
There we go. Boy, that's confusing. The send drawing to desk can be really confusing if you don't know that's what's causing the problem. Because there's no real good visual indicator that that's what's going on. I finished my um, visual novel characters. I posted them to Twitter if you're curious to see how they turned out. I'm pretty happy with them. I am Wolverine. Yeah, we're um nearing the end. We're almost done with this scene. I'm really excited about it. I hope they like it. Damn boy, he thick. Let's see, and then that line goes here. That seems alright. Damn boy! <laughs> thick. Boy! That's a thick ass boy! Damn! Ba <laughs> it really is the most popular sound effect. Uh, sandwich, thank you for redeeming your butts. A cheese factory exploded in France. Debris was everywhere. <laughs> you got coat hangers, Phil? <laughs> you got you got a place to hang your shoes? <laughs> I have, um... I have, like, a... I don't know what they're called. It's not a Kigurumi... It's like a half Kigurumi, but I wear that whenever it's cold, and it's so comfortable. I hope the workers are okay. I'm showing genuine concern for right now. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you said poop. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Just bring that line in like that. And then erase this section. <laughs> you can't say poop on the playground. I'm going to tell the principal. <laughs> Showing genuine concern after <laughs> after a cheese explosion. I hope everyone's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Do you hear the rumor about butter? Well, I'm not going to spread it. I'll stop. Use your titties like a broom and sweep it. Just sweep it. There's a cockroach and some bugs and some lint on the floor. Just sweep it. Just sweep it. <laughs> How'd you know we were drawing man boobs? How'd you know, Christian? Oh, no wonder. I was on the wrong layer. That's why. <laughs> and it says red man boobs. Wait, Michi? What's an instant rice thing? It's not rice in a bag, is it, you heathen? <laughs> it's my rice and I want it now! <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> Go online and you can save some time with the general. I don't know how the general's quote goes. <laughs> Bought it for the packaging. <laughs> <laughs> For things that need a lot of accuracy, missiles are very ineptly named. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I haven't heard that one. <laughs> they should call them right on targetables. <laughs> to get low rates and to save some time, uh, go to the general online. How does it go? Save money with the general. There's like a rhyme with it, I forget. Mitchie, it's more of an instant meal. It's self-heating, it's rice with beef and potato dish. That sounds awesome. Self-heating? Like, you don't even put it in the microwave sort of thing? Like witchcraft? That sounds pretty cool. I mean, that sounds pretty cool. For a great low rate, you could save some time. Go... Online! <laughs> How does it fucking go? I'm missing a bunch of syllables. Call the general and go online. I just like to eat my breakfast. I just like to eat my breakfast. <laughs> I love this smear frame. The smear frame's so good. <laughs> Has a packet thing that you add water to it and it heats up. That's pretty cool. I've never seen anything like that. Rather eat rice cakes than popcorn, popcorn balls? I love both. Popcorn balls are pretty good. Always had family members that made them for Christmas. I misplaced my thesaurus once. I couldn't find the words to describe how upset I was. I just like to eat my breakfast. There's one thing I know, is that I just like eating my breakfast. Hey, Coldheart, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hope your day's going well. line. I like that. Oh, I used to eat snowballs all the time. They used to be my favorite snack, too. <laughs> There's a lot of Vaseline on the camera lens. <laughs> the hardest part about making skim milk must be throwing the cows across the lake. Who is this, um, comedian? I'll have to look them up. Gary Delaney. That name sounds familiar. Damn, boy! He's thick! <laughs> boy! That's a thick-ass boy! Damn! Damn! Ah!
Mm -hmm. Bring that line in a little bit like that. Oh, it's better. Boy, um... Really small changes really make a big difference. Well, you'll just have to find out, won't you, Sandwich? All stares at Sandwich. <laughs> I mean... I mean, I guess you're just gonna have to find out yourself. <laughs> I love that that's a reward. <laughs> Thanks for all the support and for all your viewership. Now, now go away. <laughs> Get banned. <laughs> <laughs> That's true too. You don't have to spend butts. You can do it for free. There's there's pretty good ways to get banned. <laughs> Lee's so nice. Lee's the nicest mod in here. So thoughtful, so gracious. <laughs> Dude, it's the best rule. <laughs> Don't annoy me. <laughs> what a good rule to, like, follow and be aware of what that means. So maybe do a little line there. Nah. Nah, let's leave it, actually. Looks fine with that one. Let's see, so this is our next keyframe. That gets copied and pasted right there. <laughs> Give Lee all the mochi. I see a friend is streaming. It's almost 8.30 already. Today went by real fast. I guess that's what happens when you eat some ass. So, what do we got? We got one, two, three, four more boob frames to draw. And then we Gucci boys. So, this would be the breakdown for Boba. Would be this next frame. Um... Sometimes you just gotta pass the time by eating some ass. Oh, would you look at the time? It's time to eat some ass. Speaking of time, um, thanks for hanging out, everybody. That was, this was really fun. Um, it ended way too soon. Um, I hope you guys all have a good day and a good weekend. Um, thanks again for all the lurks, all the support and everything. It means a lot, Hi, seriously. Thank you also, Billy, for being here. Thank you, Billy. You are there. Thank you. Um, we're gonna pass the love on to somebody. Let's see who we can pass the love on to. Um, if you're taking off, hope you have a good day and a good weekend. I'll be back on um, on Monday. Palm trees, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm sorry, palm trees. I gotta get to work. Um, hope you have a great weekend too. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, stick around. We're gonna pass the love on to an equally fun um, 
stream to hang out in. I think you guys will like him a lot. Um, you guys don't follow Scribble Hearts. Really good artist. Super nice person. Really welcoming stream. Love hanging out there. So raid Scribbles Hearts. Both plural. And I'll see you guys over there. Hope you all have a good one. Uh, thanks again. Hope you have a good rest of your day, Palm Trees. Good luck today. Um, and uh, I'll see you guys over there. Take it easy. We love you. Bye-bye.